Hello, fellow Stampers. This is Yana Smakula for My Favorite Things. Welcome back for another video tutorial. In this video, we're making a fun Sloth Kisses greeting card with a My Favorite Things Slumbering Floss stamp set. I started to work on my card by stamping the images for this card in Memento Tuxedo Black ink onto Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. I have two images of sloth. I love how cute they are. I also have a couple of stars and a moon for my card. Now I'm using a mini misty stamping tool as I will be adding a second stamped layer once my coloring is done. So I need to use a stamp positioner to be able to do that later. We're going to do some quick coloring now. I thought about different colors that I could use and different patterns that I could use for their pajamas. And I envisioned light gray pajamas, silk pajamas, with a beautiful white stripe. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm using a C1 marker. This is a light gray. And I'm using that to color the entire top and bottom of my pajamas. And then I'm using a C3 marker just to add a little bit of shading near the arms and where the darker areas would be. I'm then going back to my C1 marker and blending that out a little bit. I'm not spending a lot of work, a lot of time on this image as I will be adding those stripes using a white pen and that will add a lot of detail to this image. Next, I'm using a YG03 and YG67 markers to color the little leaves on the branches. And to color the branch itself, I'm using dark brown markers. I'm starting with the E79 and just adding some shading at the bottom of the branch. Then using E37 and extending that color a little bit further up. And then using E33 marker and blending it all together and extending that brown color all the way to the top of the branch. Whenever I color small sections, I typically like to go from dark to medium to light instead of saturating the paper with the lightest then going to medium and to my dark color. So I just skip that and start with the darkest color right away. Now to color the face of my sloth, I'm using E000 marker. I will not be adding any shading here, just one solid layer of color. And I'm also using R20 marker to add a little bit of blush to his cheeks. Next, I'm coloring the fur or the skin, well, probably the fur on my cloth images. And the colors I'm using are E00. This is my lightest brown. Next, I'm coming in with E11 and adding a little bit of shading and also using E33 and intensifying those shadows on the image. That's the same color that I used to color the branch, the, the lightest color that I used for the branch. I'm then going back to E11 and blending it all out. As for the moon and the stars, I'm starting with Y35. This is my darkest yellow, then adding my medium yellow, Y13, and then coming in with the lightest yellow, Y11. I'm also using a C9 marker to color the nose on the sloth. So I colored both of my images and now I'm using a white jelly roll pen to add a highlight to their noses and also to add the stripes to my pajamas. So I'm just using a, a, a freehand motion and I'm just adding wonky or straight stripes, whatever I can do best to the top and bottom of my pajamas. And I'm trying to follow the curve of the clothing of the outfit so that the stripes look a little bit more natural. Now, if you wanted to, you could also stamp the sloth image onto pattern paper and then cut the pajama pieces from pattern paper. That would look really fun. And I'm actually going to try that the next time I'm going to use this stamp set. I think that's going to be, that's going to look really awesome. And you can have really nice and fun patterns on your animals. Now that we have our coloring finished, I want to add another layer of stamping. I want the outline to be a little bit darker. So I replaced the panel back into my Misty. Now I did not move the stamps when I first made my impression. And now I'm using Versifying Onyx Black ink and I'm re-stamping the outline over the previously colored one. 
I'm also going to add clear embossing powder and heat set this image so, I, so that I have a nice raised and also a little bit shiny outline to these images. Now you can go ahead and use the Versifying Onyx Black ink right away. This ink can be used with Copic markers, but it needs to be heat set. I don't always like to do this, so I prefer to stamp my images with Memento using Misty, then color, and then if I feel like I want to make the outline a little bit darker, I just go ahead and re-stamp the outline with a Versifying Onyx Black, and I also add the clear embossing powder on top, which makes the black even blacker, and I really like how that looks. So here I'm just heat setting the powder and melting it in place using my heat tool. Next, I'm going to work on the background for my card. So this is pretty much the placement of the images that I want to have, the composition of my card, if you will. And my idea is to stamp this large smile sentiment in the center of the panel. I'm using a dark blue cardstock panel, and I also have a sub sentiment under that smile. Now to help the smile sentiment or the smile word stand out on my background, I'm going to do a little trick by stamping that sentiment in two colors of ink. So first, and you can see I've removed that sub-sentiment because I only need to stamp the main sentiment in two colors of ink. So first, I'm going to stamp the smile word in white pigment ink. Now this will allow me to create a nice drop shadow effect to this image. I'm making sure to stamp this several times. I'm trying to build up good white ink coverage on my panel. And lately I've been trying to use my elbow to press on the Misty and I've actually had really good results. I find it that my hand doesn't hurt as much when I use the elbow because in the past I would use my hand and I press, I would press really hard and then my hand would hurt. Uh, so now I'm just trying to use my elbow and uh, stamp or press with my elbow on the Misty. I cleaned my stamp, I removed it from the lid of the Misty, and now I'm repositioning it over the previously stamped smile, but I am offsetting it just a little bit. I mean, you can barely see the offset, but it's there here. As I lift up the Misty to the camera, you can see a tiny bit of shadow on the image. Now I've also added that sub sentiment and I also used the sloth, one of the images of the sloth to check the placement and figure out if it's still working for the idea that I have in mind. So I'm going to ink up the main sentiment and the sub sentiment with the Versafine Onyx Black ink and stamp it onto the background. And here you can see that that gives me a nice shadow. I have a white shadow on the panel and that helps the smile to stand out a little bit more. Now the smile is not really a sentiment on this card. It's more of a design element. It's something for my images to sit on or to hang from. So it's not really a part of the sentiment, although it is kind of part of the sentiment, but it's mainly there as a design element for my card. Now from here, my card went into one direction and I did finish it that way. But then when I took photos of my project, it, it just didn't feel right to me. So I actually took it apart and I added some additional stamping just to make it a little bit more interesting. But I'll show you everything step by step so that I do not, do not confuse you. Okay, so I went ahead and I trimmed my panel to four by five and a quarter inches and I foam mounted the panel onto an A2 white top folding card base. Now you see me use white foam squares and I'm adding those to the back of my sloth images as I plan to foam mount the images onto the card. I did take them off and then I added some additional stamping to the background to make it a little bit more interesting. I wanted to create sort of like a night sky type of look with some greenery in the background. I wanted to have some leaves or some branches. I wanted it to look like there's a forest, not just a blank sky on the card. So to do that, I went ahead and I used a different stamp set from my favorite things. I used a branch image from the Wonderful Woods stamp set from my favorite things and I stamped the branches in clear embossing ink. The clear embossing ink gives a really pretty tone on tone look, so I'm able 
to have nice dark blue leaves on the background. And I went ahead and stamped a bunch of leaves, a bunch of branches, framing my sentiment and framing my animals. I overlapped the images, I turned and rotated the branch each time I made an impression to make it look a little bit different and to make it look like as if I used a bunch of different images instead of just one. I finished my card by using some clear droplets from my stash. I went ahead and adhered a couple of droplets next to the animals. And now you can see me use a white jelly roll pen to add white dots onto the black, or excuse me, onto the blue panel to mimic stars. I like how sometimes when you look up into the night sky through the leaves, you can see some of the stars a little bit. And that's basically the idea that I had for this card, the look that I was going for. And then you have the adorable sloth sleeping or slumbering on that smile sentiment. I had a blast making this card and even though it didn't turn out quite the way I had envisioned it the first time, I do like the finished result. I hope you picked up a few tips and tricks in my video and I hope you'll give this idea a go yourself. If you do, you guys know the drill, please share online and tag us on social media. We always love seeing what you guys are making. Subscribe now and do hit the bell icon not to miss any new card making tutorials. Thanks for watching, love you guys, and I'll see you next time.